guys, it's Cookie Master Charms. So, welcome to day four of our Thanksgiving meal. So far, we've made bread and butter, sliced turkey, and pumpkin pie. And I still haven't baked the pumpkin pie from my tutorial. That's why it's really shiny. So, I thought the bread and butter looked really big compared to everything else. So, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a full body turkey. Here's the ones with all the wings and the legs and stuff. And then we have the turkey on the side. And I'm going to make like a plate for them both to be like glued onto. So then it will be bigger than the bread and butter because the turkey is the main thing. So we'd have the turkey and the thing and the sliced turkey on the same plate. And they'll be all in proportion. And we could put the two pumpkin pies on a plate if you would like. But I think they look fine by themselves. So let's get started. Materials you will need are light brown or tan clay, a blade, chalk pastels, and a paintbrush, but I really don't know where my paintbrush went, so I'm just gonna use my finger to put on some color like that. So, first step is to take a piece of clay proportion to the bread and butter and the sliced turkey. But if you do make this, try not to make your bread and butter so big. Or you could make it big and then put it on the plates like I'm doing. So then take both of these out and just see how big. And, and once you get the size you want, just roll into a ball. Now, flatten this down, and then slightly start to shape it into like an oval like that. And flatten it down. So then, kind of dome it a little. And I guess you could call this butterball turkey. So then, once you dome it like this, now we're gonna make the legs and the wings. So, you're gonna take the remaining piece of your clay and you're just gonna like roll it into a log and cut off two equal pieces for the wing or the legs. One. And then just cut equal to that and then these are going to be your legs now to make the turkey legs um you're going to cut a piece of clay that's proportion to your turkey body and just a little much and then you're going to roll it into a a log and then just kind of roll this end and kind of hold this in place push down roll more push down and then just check how it looks on your turkey this is really bad, but I can't really make turkey. I'm not good at it. And then trim as desired. So I pushed the leg on, and this is how you want to put your leg on, just like this. Around this a little more. So, um, yeah. Then you just want to make another leg the exact same way and put it on just like that. This is what it looks like with the two legs on. Oops, really cute. So now we're gonna make the wings. So you're going to take a piece of brown. I don't know why I'm pulling it off like this, but make sure it's proportion again. And then roll it like out like that. And then roll this side really, really thin. Like we did like the leg, but then you wanna fold it up 
like that, and then stick it on the side. Stick it down there. So it looks like this, and then just make another wing and place it on. So here's what your little butterball dude looks like. And then you want to take the toothpick. E. You want to take a toothpick. Uh oh, I said the toothpick. And just you kind of break it. You could use like a small ball tool, but I only have a large one. And then you want to make like an indent right there and just kind of push through and then like texture it in the side. And what I mean by texture it is like push it in. So it looks like it's just kind of pushed down there. Like that. So that's the hole where his head used to be. Poor turkey. Now we're going to shade. Now we're going to shade with our pastels. I found my paintbrush shade. And I already kind of started putting like it on there. Looks really bad. But you're going to scrape on some sandy color right here. This is it right here. Looks kind of orange, but then you want to brush it on two sides a little. Doesn't really make a difference because you can't really notice. So, next, scrape up some dark brown and pack that on your brush and put it on the top of your little turkey. Turkey, turkey. And just kind of brush around with those two colors. So just continue to shade until you like the way your turkey looks. So here's my little butterball turkey. Oh my god, I'm so proud of this. Like, I thought this was going to be so much worse. But now we have both little turkeys and it beating the bread and butter. So now we need to put them on a plate. And like I said in the last video, I always forget to mention materials. So you're going to need some silver clay. And if you watched yesterday's video, you'd know that my clay is rock hard. So um, then you'll roll out a oval of that clay. It's over. So I'm using white instead of silver because it's really hard. So then what you do with your clay, you roll it into like a loggy thing. And then you press it, press it, press it, press it. I'm gonna make this kind of thin so you fit both things on there. Switch it out and then just see if they'll fit. No, not quite. Just kind of pull and stretch as much as you can. And you know that palm, twistable, turnable hand. And he pulls and he stretches as much as he can for this twistable, turnable, do what you're toldable. I will stop singing now. Washable, mendable, highly dependable. Okay, so pull it out like this. And then, so now they fit. And here is my forgetting. Oh yeah, by the way, now this is the optional step with the plate. I always forget to mention things, so I'm so sorry. TLS, you're gonna need. So yeah. Especially with the baked clay. Or you could not bake it and then. So put your TLS glue on. So yeah, now place on your turkey slices. And now put some TLS or bacon bond. It like never comes out. Come on, you can do it. Squeeze it out. <clears throat> Come on. So then you just glue it onto your plate. You could use super glue too. So then you'll just bake that turkey. And then, here you go. Here's your Thanksgiving feast so far. So 
thanks for watching. Bye. Here's your butter ball turkey with your butter. Enjoy and for, don't forget to watch tomorrow's tutorial.